For many years, the trip to Canberra was fraught with danger. For some reason, the Raiders were very beatable there last year, though. So if they had a taste success in 2016, that will have to be rectified. Perhaps their new halfback can turn things around. Williams, he'll kick towards the post. He wants a rebound. Blake Austin is going to get free. Blake Austin and Sam Williams formed a formidable combination in 2015. There's a new kid in the nation's capital that has torn them apart. Aiden Caesar! Yeah, I've started a group like this for four years, so it's nothing different there. The former Titan will start in the number seven jersey, and there's no way Austin will give up his number six. Something little for me was coming in each week and, and seeing the number six jersey hanging in my locker, and it, it sounds a bit silly, but um, it's something I got a huge kick out of. And, and in the past, I was watching someone else grab that jersey with, with envy, so I don't want to give Semi a crack, as selfish as it sounds, because because he's a great footballer in himself. So I'd be nervous if Semi was out there, and, and I wasn't. So yeah, I'll be I'll be doing everything I can to make sure I'm out there playing with Aiden. They may be a fresh halves pairing, but they'll be guided by one of the club's greatest ever playmakers in Ricky Stewart, who was part of the Green Machine's last premiership success 22 years ago. He's massive on the heritage of the club, and um, you know it's it'd be nice to get back to them glory days. But um, he, he literally does bleed green. And, you know, the year a lot of people talk about that as a Raiders fan, but he actually loves it. Yeah, when Sticky tells a few stories of back in his era, you know that group was real stacked, and it seems like every player wants to play for those Canberra legends. Recruitment and retention have been a key since Stewart took over in 2014. Josh Papali, Joseph Lailua, Jack Whiten and Shannon Boyd all re-signed in the off-season, while Jeff Lima, Adam Clydesdale and Englishman Elliot Whitehead are among the new faces to join the Raiders' ranks. Training is obviously a bit harder now because uh, you know, everyone's battling for their, their spot. I guess I've said goodbye to the Mackers for a few months and uh, you know, just got to try and knuckle down. Canberra failed to make the finals for a third straight year in 2015. They lost eight games by four points or less and were beaten in nine of 12 matches at home. First time doesn't just break the hearts of Canberra. It treads on them. Yeah, the boys are gutted after every single loss, especially those, those close ones at home. They, they really did hurt, so we need to fix our home record up and, and turn Canberra Stadium into a fortress again. Anything less than the eight is going to be a... You know, an unsuccessful season in our eyes and we know that the finals needs to be a realistic goal for us now and um, that's what we're working hard towards. If you don't go in believing you, you can win it, then you might as well not play it. Obviously there's a few young players who reckon will we'll win with a chance, so uh, hopefully we'll have a big season.